And we're going to be doing a research project again. And I'm going to give you three choices of types of projects that you can do and a choice of which question that you want to answer. So started out, I had students, uh, a couple of students who were really struggling with reading and writing and it took so much time and one-on-one -on -one to get anything out of them uh, that we started to explore what were some other things that we could use to help them do it more independently, to feel more successful. So I started introducing uh, word prediction. Text prediction software can help almost anybody. It particularly helps kids that uh, are not very good spellers. Kids are always wanting, you know, they'll ask, how do you spell this, how do you spell that? And it stops their writing. It took forever and ever. And I was always worried about the spelling. And... If you're trying to write a story on a laptop, if you can't write something right and you don't know how to spell it, um, it would find words that it thinks it's you're trying to spell and you can click on it. The tool that we use, what it allows the student to do is as they're typing it will give them a choice of words to help them predict what the word might be that they are trying to write and it gives them a selection and then they can mouse over it and it will read it to them so they have some audio support. Might missed the so they can type the words that they know and then get support for the ones that they're not sure how to spell. What it also does is it allows them to have the text read to them so they might write something, then they can highlight it and then it will read it back to them and they go, oh, well, that doesn't make sense or that wasn't the word that I was thinking of. Uh, I provided the tool to all students so it was available to everybody and in fact, I had everybody use it at first. After a while, I then said, you know, you can now choose to use it. So the students who felt that that wasn't a tool that helped them, they stopped using them. And there were kids who kept using it who I never suspected would like a tool like that. What the tool allows the student to do is to, first of all, gain some independence, to be able to do a lot of the tasks on their own. I actually found that their reading and writing was improving. and. I started to suspect that it was because they were seeing and hearing the word spelled properly and getting that reinforcement, that continual reinforcement of what's the word, hearing it. And, and so I was seeing it transfer into being able to start writing some of those words on their own. I've seen so much growth in some of my students who were able to access those tools for their learning, uh, just, you know, confidence. So getting kids to really focus more on the learning and not letting the mechanics of writing getting in the way of learning. They were now able to work on the same tasks at the same level as the, their peers. It feels better because then I'm doing it, not somebody else. Now that I have the program, I can do more by myself and less with the teachers. I feel pretty good. We don't focus on how fast you can do it. Are, are you able to do it? Um, if it takes more time to do it, that's okay. But as long as there's, we are able to eliminate the frustration. The use of the technology has helped me as a teacher uh, in changing my role as a teacher in that I spend less time focusing on one-on-one -on -one scribing or reading or whatever it is and more time on content. I can now teach to the whole class, including those students who struggle with reading and writing focus on the content, the skills, what do I want my students to know and do? And then they can use that tool to help them show me. I feel good because now I'm getting good marks. I do use big words now. Like, I use the word universe. 